YTBC what's the deal now I just came out with a video yesterday um, giving my final thoughts about uh, Oscar Rivas and Gerald Washington and their fight then I'm on eastsideboxing.com right now and I see they have an article up with Gerald Washington from the last what is this here the last uh, conference call quotes okay now this fight is happening in two days so I'm gonna just read what Gerald Washington has to say what he thinks about the fight and I've also did a, a Washington versus Oscar Rivas prediction so want to talk this fight up man because nobody's really talking about this fight it's a good exciting heavyweight fight Oscar Rivas uh, undefeated prospect Gerald Washington another undefeated prospect um so good fight man but uh Washington goes on to say I grew up boxing and boxing was always my passion as a kid I used to go to the local boys and girls club as a kid and I've been in the love with it since um it's always been a part of me and I'm glad I can do it again and take over the division all right there's a lot of similarities in football and boxing. You watch film, you break your opponent down. We take everything from sparring and practice and take them out the game. Uh, this is going to be a great fight. It's always a good battle when you have two undefeated fighters. I'm going to be a night full of action. I look forward to the action. I love stepping up and facing top flight competition. Rivas has an extensive amateur background. He's big, strong guy who likes to knock out. Um, He's going to go for it. I'm prepared for a fight like that. I know the pressure is coming. We've worked hard since my last fight. The jab is the key for everything. It opens up all the other shots and keeps the opponent off balance. I'm going to hammer him with it. It's a major tool. It's a great honor to be fighting here in Los Angeles. My whole life has taken place in this state and everyone who has supported me and coming together on Saturday to see it all in action. Heavyweight boxing is always exciting. We're the hardest hitters in the game. I can't wait to show everyone the hard work I've put in to give a great performance. I'm going to be smart and disciplined in the ring, but you also have to be strong will and have the determination to keep moving forward. Uh, you have to step to the guy and apply the pressure. My height and reach is always my advantage, but it's not that. It's the legs, the mind, the combination is everything. You will see a smart, aggressive style from me on Saturday, and I'm going to take that into the next level of my career. Well, I'm glad that he's saying all this. I'm the, the words that pop out to me is aggressive, moving forward, um, using the jab. That's what I want to see him do. Now, he controlled the distance with the Mayor Man's sword, and, and I've said that he did a good job of controlling the distance, but I don't think he set down on enough hard shots to really get Mansoor's respect. And I know it's hard to slow Amir Mansoor down and make him stop coming forward. But with the, the, the size and the tools that Gerald Washington has, being you know, 6'6", 260, being a big guy like this, man, you would want him to sit down on these shots and make these other guys respect him. He's, he moves pretty nimble on his feet. You know, uh, Washington moves pretty damn nimble on his feet. Um, so you can argue this is a step up you know, because Amir Mansour and Rivas mirror each other a little bit. You can say that, you know, Rivas probably has more uh, amateur experience, but Amir Mansour, older guy, he's had boxing experience, you know. Um, so, and he's a tough son of a bitch, man. He fought tough against Cunningham and Dueco and his just last fight with Brazil. So, he is a tough guy, you know. I understand that. So, I understand why Washington couldn't, you know, back him up completely. But, no excuses, man. When you're that big and strong, you have to back guys up or at least make them stop coming forward. At least make them stop and fight you in the middle of the ring and not want to come forward. He did land some good right hands. He was using the jab effectively. Um, So I'm just curious to see, man. Like, I, I think highly of Washington as a prospect, although a little bit older, you know, but I do think highly of him as a prospect, football background, just a natural athlete. Um, seems as if he knows how to fight and he's picking up to this style. It worked out at uh, the All-American Camp in Carson, California. So it's going to be a good fight. Man. I'm still going to go with Revis. You know, in this fight, I'm not going to change my pick because of this conference call, these quotes. But at the same time, the things that he's saying, they make sense. You know, um, but using his jab is something he's going to have to do. You know, he said he wants to, um, he knows that he's going to apply the pressure. He knows that Revis is going to apply the pressure. So, I'm curious to see how he's going to deal with it. Is he going to deal with it the same way he dealt with it with the Mayor Man Sore by moving mostly all night? Or is he going to step to Revis and let him know, hey, man, I'm the big man in here. You know what I mean? If anything, you're going to fight me um, in the middle of the ring. You're not going to come forward. You know, will he be able to discourage Oscar Revis? Because it's going to look pretty funny, man, watching Gerald Washington just go on his back foot all the time. I mean, he's built like Lennox Lewis. You know, Lennox then, you know, now Lennox had his fights against like David Tua. 
and some other guys, you know, where he would just be uh, reluctant to be aggressive. He would just use the jab for the most part. But you have to sit down with some of these punches, uh, Gerald. But um, we'll see on fight night. You know, we, we will see on fight night. Just getting this out there, trying to talk this fight up, man. YTBC, I'm out.